Hi everybody. On Friday I tried to do a sample for datajuggler.accelerate NuGet package in this Blazor Accelerate and it took me 46 minutes to do something kind of simple and I realized that I had kind of dropped the ball because all my focus in the beginning was on loading Excel but saving I was a little more manual so I made some major improvements this weekend and I'm going to do the same thing in 10 minutes is my goal so before we start the timer though I'm going to go ahead and download the sample workbook here it's got 20,000 random names addresses and a list of states and I'll just save it in my temp folder and I'll go ahead and open the file click enable editing and what I need to do, what we're going to do is I'm going to add a column here for state name because right now you can see it has the state ID which is just a look up to the states tab but what we're going to do is populate this now so the code generator can figure out the data type I have to type in just a couple and I'll just type in a couple those are wrong but it doesn't matter and I'll save this and now I'm going to start the timer close this down and I will go to my uh, I'll leave that minimized and we don't need this okay and let me make sure this uh, folder here is empty in my projects before I start the timer okay it's not here all right so now what we're gonna do is start our 10 minutes on the clock so the first thing we're gonna do is type in our uh, namespace here which is going to be accelerate winapp dot objects upload Excel we're going to select the address tab generate the class and download the zip file because browsers do not like downloading C sharp files and we'll do the same thing for states okay so now we have our two classes I'm going to open up this folder and just go into here copy put this on the same level and I'll do the same with the address class. Now before we can paste these though, we have to create our project and for that I'm going to go to the repository for Accelerate WinApp, which is the NuGet package that we're about to use. And if I come down here to the README, I'm going to just copy this line here. And now I'm going to start Visual Studio. Oops, wrong one. There we go. And to say continue without code, I'm going to go tools, NuGet package manager, package manager console. I need to create a folder for our project. So here I'm just going to call this accelerate WinApp. All right. And now back here, I'm going to say change directory. And I'm going to copy that because I don't feel like typing it. Alright, okay, and now I'm going to copy this, and that'll install the NuGet package for Accelerate WinApp. I already have it, but it, you'll need it. And then I'm going to paste that again, but take out the word install. And that creates our project. And now that we have our project created, I'll just show you that was just created. Go back to my temp folder copy these two classes go to the objects folder and paste you can delete this temporary object it's only here so the NuGet package compiles before you uh, add any classes and now I'm going to close down this Visual Studio and go up one level and open this project and we'll make sure this compiles before we do anything okay now I'm going to show you the, okay, let's try that one more time. I'm trying to get to the designer for some reason. That seems harder than it should be. There we go. Did the same thing. I don't know why it does that sometimes. All right, move our little countdown out of the way. All right, so this is what the app looks like. What we want to look at is the update button underscore click. All right, and a lot of this is already wired up for you. The only thing we're going to need to do is type in the sheet name, which is, uh, excuse me, my mind's getting tired. All right, and we're going to copy one more 
And this one's going to be for state. So this is going to be info2, 2, 2, and this will be states. And then this is where the magic starts happening. Get that out of the way again. This is where we're, we can load the entire worksheet. And this is going to be worksheet 2. And it's going to be info2. All right. And now, this was already here as an example. So this actually helps us out here. So this is how you load the entire list of addresses into memory. And we need to do the same thing for states. Of course, that just. OK, and that's going to be states. And this is going to be states. So, and that's going to be worksheet two. OK, and now for this, we're kind of cheating, but there's not much time in this. So, but my example here, this was already here, but this is the fixed sheet state name. So, it just, just saves me typing all this. And we're going to go to my methods region and paste that in. It's going to not be formatted very well, but we can just click on Regionizer 2022 and Format Selection. So a little bit off because Visual Studio doesn't like regions if you indent sometimes. Okay, so now uh, we have that'll fix our, we need to call that, so let's go up here and we're just going to say fix state name, pass in our addresses by reference, and the states. So that's everything. That's loading both worksheets for address and states and updating our state name to the object in memory. But now before we can save it back, what we have to do, well there's one other thing and we need to set up the graph here. So after I know, oops, after I know the addresses exist, I want to call setup graph and it's going to be updating state names oh, and then we've got the next graph maximum is addresses dot count and show graph is true okay not this better set up the graph okay and now we can come over here and now it's time to save back to Excel now you'll see this list of I seller I accelerate object here's the class we code generated address it implements the interface I accelerate object but we still have to cast it as a list of I accelerate objects or we can't call this method which is the magic I wrote over the weekend we can now save a worksheet just by passing in this list of accelerate objects and here's the worksheet the worksheet info and this is a callback that just uh, has the graph all wired up so for a long process and it defaults to every hundred but we're going to pass in 500 here just because it's 20,000 names and it goes a little faster and if everything goes as planned that should work so can I get a drum roll? Save all this and we'll go ahead and start the app let me minimize a couple things so you can see better select our excel file and click update and of course it doesn't work so that means I made a copy and paste error somewhere which is not the first time alright so let's see info 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 2 ha that's it right there sorry most problems occur between keyboard and chair alright trying that one more time so pretend you didn't see that alright and Excel is not open, so we should... Okay, so this is fixing the address list in memory. And then now we're saving. So it worked. And I think we're going to have about two minutes. So I think we're going to finish in under 10 minutes. It took me 46 minutes on Friday, partially because I hadn't worked with this project in a while, so I forgot. But I think it's a lot easier now. Let me know your opinion. Does that seem pretty simple for working with Excel? And let's see if this finishes. Okay, I can close this down and let's let me open up the temp folder and just make sure that all worked. And it did. All right, so that is my video. 
Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day.